Okay, let's do this. I've tried to start this video about 124 times, but here goes. On tonight's program, ladies and gentlemen, we have something that's gonna make you sick. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jack Edwards, and over the past three years, you have been following my university journey um, from Freshers' Week to now, um, all the highs and the lows and the peaks and the troughs. Um, and unfortunately, today, um, I'm not coming to you with good news. <laughs> today is definitely one of one of the lows. <laughs> um, but that's how it, that's how it goes. Um, so three weeks ago, I found out some news. Um, basically, as some of you may know, before I came to university, I applied to go to Oxford um, to study for an undergraduate degree in English literature, and I had an interview, but I didn't get in. Um, and I then ended up at Durham, a university that I love and I think that things worked out perfectly for me and I'm so content and happy with how that turned out. Um, then I kind of always had in my head from the moment I got to Durham that if it was possible I would apply to do a master's at Oxford. Um, because it's somewhere I've always wanted to go. Um, it's still a huge dream of mine and a huge goal. So I got my grades last year at the end of my second year and I found out that I had worked hard enough to apply, to even think about considering applying to Oxford, which was obviously really good news. I was uh, elated over the moon. Um, I applied. Um, I started writing my application in October um, worked on it just as much as I possibly could until January when I sent it off and then um, three weeks ago I got a little email <laughs> it popped up in the corner of my laptop screen um, to tell me the result of that application and um, I didn't get in I didn't get in um, I was rejected by Oxford again um, and I'm dealing with it but <laughs> that's what this I, that's what I'm I came here to say um, I guess you can click off now if you don't care um, but yeah I got rejected from Oxford University again this intense disappointment that I feel isn't because I ever expected to get into Oxford because I didn't. It's not because I felt like I deserved to go to Oxford because I didn't, but it's because I applied with the best application that I am capable of. And it still wasn't enough. It's really tough when the best you have still isn't good enough, you know? Um, I just think that I've been working so hard for my whole degree to get better and I've fallen in love with this subject and this area of study um, I, I adore it and um, I think anyone who knows me knows that um, I everything I've done and the things that I've been lucky enough to achieve in the past three years there's always that thing in the back of my head that's like, this This could be the thing that makes me good enough to get into that program that I have wanted for so long. And it, and it hasn't been. And that is hard. It's tough. It's, you know, um, we did the podcast. We, the YouTube channel has been, has given me so many incredible opportunities. I got to speak in the Houses of Parliament. I've written a book. I'm going to be a published author um, this summer. Um, and it still isn't enough. And that's hard to deal with um, because I, I don't know what more I can do and what more I have inside me. I think one of the most frustrating and heartbreaking things about this whole um, process is that I really, really want to continue studying English Lit. I'm not done with it. I found an area of research that I'm so passionate about and I just want to keep learning about. I would ideally love to do a PhD 
and so for me, finding out that I've been rejected from the only master's program that I applied to and the, the ideal master's program that I would love to do is tough because it's being told no to something that I want more than anything and um, basically pushing me a year back because I'm I'm going to reapply. I'm going to give it another shot next year. Um, I'm now kind of, I see this year ahead of me, like, what do I do? Um, I definitely, I think obviously you have to look at the positives and, and think about, it's an incredible opportunity to have a whole year to to get better and to keep working on myself, learning more things so that when I apply again next time, I have more of a chance, um, hopefully. I think that when I was rejected last time, it gave me this real fire in my belly to prove them wrong. And actually, this year, when people were finding out about whether they'd got into Oxford and Cambridge for their undergrad degrees, I was on Twitter and I tweeted saying, if any of you are struggling to deal with it or you, and you didn't get the news you, you wanted today, it, message me. Because I know how it hurts, you know? Because um, I've been through that. And I sat in the British Library and for hours, <laughs> it was probably about three hours and I was just sitting there messaging all these incredible people, these bright, inspiring people who deserve that opportunity. Um, and I was like, I make these academic planners and so I was like, send me your address and I'll send you one for free so that you can start working on how you're going to prove them wrong, right? And my mentality has always been prove them wrong, prove them wrong, prove them wrong. And so I really wanted it for, for those people. I wanted to show those people and show everyone that I could do it, you know? And in the back of my head, I'm thinking, I've got to do this too now. I've got to prove them wrong as in prove Oxford wrong, and I haven't. <laughs> so we go again, <laughs> we've got another year to, to improve <laughs> and get better and make that damn application the best bloody thing I am capable of next time. I feel, genuinely, I feel like a fraud. I feel like I've let you guys down, I've let myself down um, because I, I really wanted this. You know, um, I wanted this to be my next step. And so many people have been commenting on the videos being like, we know you've got in, like, when are you gonna tell us that you've got in? And, and there's, I always say, you know, that I'm an English lit student at Durham University. It's become a bit of a running joke that people say I say it in every video. And I, even on my most recent video, there were comments being like, don't worry, like next year he'll be a master's student at, at somewhere else. And yeah, I really wanted to be able to turn around and be like, yeah, you're right, how exciting and how fun and awesome is that going to be? But <laughs> that, that isn't what's going to be. <laughs> That's not what's happening. So yeah, sorry, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else there is necessarily to say here. I would love for this video to have a positive spin at the end of it and be like, but it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be okay. I hope it's going to be okay, but I don't know yet. And I am a believer in everything happens for a reason, <laughs> all that shit, but this this is testing me, <laughs> you know? Um, it's been tough. It's been hard. It's been like, that's kind of why I took a bit of time off YouTube and off social media, because it can be such a highlights reel full of just success stories and people getting the news that they want and finding out they've got into their dream university and and it's hard to see that coming up on your timeline when you're dealing with something that's so deeply personal to you and you haven't, I barely told anyone about it. Um, I just very much kept it to myself. Um, yeah. Um, ooh, I don't know how to end this now because I've kind of just got into this pit of like pity. A pit of pity, good. That's, if I could use the English language better than that, then maybe I would get into the master's program. <laughs> Going to Oxford University to do this specific master's program is still my dream. It's still the thing that I would love to do. I'm not going to give up because I'm stubborn <laughs> and it's something I really want and something I'm really passionate about. And so something that I believe I should keep fighting for. This is a video to tell you that unfortunately, 
Sometimes things don't work out and it's okay because it's an opportunity for redirection um, to, you know, improve yourself, work things out. It all, all makes sense eventually. Just right now, I am having trouble dealing with that and, and coming to terms with that and convincing myself that, but it is true. So it's gonna be okay. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the love. Um, thank you for letting me ramble on for however long I have, probably way too long. Um, I'm gonna go and continue working on my dissertation and get this degree <laughs> and prove them wrong. Okay, so my camera cut out automatically, which is probably a sign from the world telling me to, to shut up now. That's it, that's, that's enough. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I'm all right, I'm gonna dust myself off and I'm gonna be okay. Um, be kind to yourself, look after yourselves, because it's important, and have a good day. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.